Hello, hello there everyone. Hi, it's me Bettina Atwill and this live. Oh, it's been a long time that I have actually come up here to talk to all of you, to the community, and I've been to this day. So welcome once again. And I'm one of the administrators of this group. And I thought to come on live. I've oh, actually, I've never forgotten. I've always been wanting to come back on live, except that I've had some time to to readjust to my schedule. Teaching has gone back to face-to-face -to -face here and in with all that I need to do with teaching and being with the children and everything else. It's been, it's been a little bit hard to ensure that I keep coming back. And I always wanted to come back on the second quarter of this year. So here I am. I promised myself I'd be back by April, so I'm a And the reason why I'm here is because I actually want to share Harmony Week with you. So happy Harmony Week, everyone, to all of you all around the world. I've just realized that Harmony Week is celebrated in Australia on March 21. And it's a day where we celebrate our multiculturalism, we celebrate our past. At this very moment, I'm in Wada Wadawarong country and I acknowledge that I am, and I pay my respects to the Wada Wadawarong people. And so with that, I want to say happy Harmony Week, everyone. So this is a great way to continue to spread my advocacy in education. So for I am an educator and a teacher, and I also like making content for all of you and easy for as many of us educators, teachers, and parents to make play accessible to our children. And who I am as a human being and I realized that what there's one thing one thing that keeps me going and one thing that happens to me when I that I need when I want to work best and when I want to be in a flow and I want to be the best person who I am I really need to feel like my mind body and soul are in perfect harmony and so that brings me to this whole uh, theme for today. Understand other cultures, understand diversity, whether it's from their culture or from one's gender or the different skills that different people have. Understanding what diversity really means because we can have harmony unless we understand each other so there's so many ways and tips that we could help our children understand harmony and one of those would be to tell a story so we can start with one story at a time so I'm going to quickly very quickly show you one of my one of my favorite books that I always go back to when it talks when we want to talk about feeling peaceful with ourselves and understanding others. So the
very great way for a young child to and because we are living in Wadawarong I really, really am so fascinated by the fact that there's the world's oldest living culture that took care and managed this land. So I'm really big on Aboriginal literature and Dreamtime stories, but I don't have that many Aboriginal books, but we do borrow a lot from the library. So I always try to make sure I've got a few stories, a few stories on the, Abor the Aboriginal culture and i always have i'll always have at least one a week and it's a great way to also understand because you know the world's oldest living culture they thought of living in harmony not only within themselves but sorry this is this is where's gala by sally morgan not only within themselves but with nature and the way they have managed nature and the way they have managed water and kept things pristine for over 600,000 years is something that we can all learn from especially in today's world and in today's climate so there's so much we can learn from the past especially the world's oldest living culture when it comes to understanding harmony nature and balance and then there's a book called Grandfather Gandhi. This is written by Gandhi's grandson, Arun Gandhi and Bethany Hegedus. So it's a really great book as well. It talks about peace and anger. And if you want to, you know, just start with any story. It doesn't have to be something that relates to peace or harmony. You can also start with stories from around the world. So little storybooks like this you can just read one tale if you want i've got a link as well that you can look at and there's some sample stories of stories around the world but then you know it all starts with one story and getting to know stories of different places from different times are great ways that we can open the doors for our children to understand different cultures we can open our minds, our hearts, and at the same time, our children. The reason why we need to be intentional is if we don't do it, then who will? Who's going to intentionally? about peace and talk about harmony I feel sometimes we get so stuck up in all the little details of literacy and knowing phonics knowing how to add knowing how to do you know how to do little calculations but we forget that all of those are tied into our emotional regulations to how we feel and when we feel peace, as anything can ha anything, everything great can happen. Thing, good things happen when we are in peace. So, just a quick definition of what harmony is. Harmony came actually from the Greek word harmo, which is to put together. And then the Latin it evolved into the, a lat the Latin word harmonia, which is to join. And then it evolved the french have a together and playing that beautiful piece and that's what harmony is in life as well when things come together things agree things are joining and things fall together when our mind our body our soul our feelings all come together and we are in a flow that's the meaning of harm that's my version of what harmony is to me and when our children are feeling that state of calm state of peace that's also a version of harmony when they are able to understand their friends and resolve their own conflict that's working towards harmony and you know there's just so many skills that we can learn ourselves and be able to 
to impart with our children. And one of those is peace and harmony. So that's all for today. One little tip. Let's start with a story. And if you don't know any stories, click on the link below. You've got some sample stories. And I also have some more ideas and stories. And a if you want to learn how to tell stories, I have a storytelling course. So yeah, it's so nice to see all of you again. I hope back here my goal was to come back in april take the first few months of 2022 off and to just um try to regroup and lay the foundations because i'm i'm changing my it side around and everything so okay everyone i just want to say hi again and goodbye from me bettina atwell i'm one of your administrators for the early childhood education group Take care now and let me know where you're watching from. If you're watching this, let me know in the comments where you're watching from. If you have a story you want to share and you think that we should, know, we should know, please, please share your story. You know, this group is really all about you. If you, we, this exists because of you. So please come on in, share your favorite stories and let's get this going. Let's talk about peace and harmony. Okay. Take care now and all the best. Stay safe and let's keep working towards peace. Goodbye.